Yes, you read that right. You're always wrong. You do not know how the story ends. You do not know how your life will go in the future. And that's the beauty of it. Certainty is the enemy of growth. If you're certain that something is right and something is wrong, you'll never learn and progress. And if you're sitting back there right now, like this, oh, this, this video is definitely not for me, I wouldn't be so certain about that. Because this video may change the way you view other people's opinions and use your opportunities that are given to you. Look, we all heard the stories how people before us were thinking and believing the things that we know are completely fake. Like that the earth is flat, that is the center of our galaxy, that you have to slice open an arm of a person to cure his disease. You can also relate, before you thought that this friend is gonna be forever with you, you thought that this relationship with that girl will never break, and now you know that you were wrong at that time. Even though you believe with your whole heart that it's the truth, turns out it was a lie. And that is actually the beauty of life. Your life improves when you're wrong, you try again, again, you fail, and then you become better. And growth is the endlessly imitative process. You always go from wrong to slightly less wrong. You're never right. Just as I said with your relationships, you believe that it's gonna turn out in a certain way, but it turned out in a completely different way. So we should not try to find the ultimate right answer for ourselves and live with it to the rest of our life. But instead, we have to try and find what we do wrong today so we can be less wrong tomorrow. Because there is no perfect ideology, what worked for one person won't work for a second one. You cannot be second Mr. Beast, you cannot be, I don't know, second Iman Gadzi. That's why you should right now say to yourself that you will never ever again buy courses on how to make money online. Because what worked for him may not work for you, all he wants is grab a little bit of your money in his pocket. That's how he makes money online. Because people only have their experiences and only their experiences told them what is right and what is wrong, but it doesn't mean that it is truly right and it is truly wrong. Because what he considers the truth may be a lie, nobody is ever right. Because we all have different lives and we all come up with different correct solutions, we come up with different experiences and different answers. Your sense of correct will change with your experience. Because before as a kid, you thought that playing computer games is the best way how to spend your free time. Well, but now you don't think that way. And when you understand this, you see a lot of issues that people face when they're obsessed with being right and don't even have a chance to live their life. Look, I know it sounds a bit hard, but let me break it down for you. Imagine there is a guy and he believes that he deserves a promotion. He thinks that he has a great amount of skills and he is capable of doing a lot of work. He is certain in his brain that he is underrated and that he deserves a promotion, but nobody sees his potential. But this employee never takes time to come to his boss and say that he thinks that he deserves a promotion. You see, when you are certain about something and you don't want to make a change, it gives you a greater comfort nowadays, but it sacrifices a lot of progress that you can make in the future. So yes, certainty is the enemy of growth. We all do not know how the story ends, we do not know, maybe we'll all die in two years because of nuclear war, we do not know what's gonna happen. So instead of searching for certainty and something that you truly believe is right, we should search for doubts in our own beliefs. Because being wrong gives opportunity for change, when you understand that you're incorrect here, you're gonna go and try to find an answer, you're gonna go and learn more things. The thing is, you're even wrong about your own experiences, you do not know which one is good and which one is bad. Because negative experience becomes positive afterwards. You might have fallen from the stairs and you might have cried at the time, but now you're looking backwards and laughing at it. The only thing we know is what hurts in the moment and what feels great. So what you have to understand from this is you should never criticize other person's opinion because you do not know what is truly correct. He had different experiences compared to yours, so he has different beliefs and different understanding of the world around him. Because he may know something, he might have seen something that you never experienced in your life, so you should always listen closely to what other people say to you. And you should also be always open for change, do not think that you are right all the time. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye.